Welcome to the making of Stormy Sea. So in this bucket, I've got my lye, my water, and my oils, and I'm going to bring all that to emulsification. So now I'm splitting my batch into the colors of the ocean. I'll be using Klein Blue, Celadon Green, and Turquoise, and for my sand, I'll be using 24 karat gold. So to make the ocean floor, I'm going to use my 24 karat gold mica mix and I shredded an old bar of soap and mixed that in with some brown mica and some gray mica. Mix that in with the sand and then I'm going to pour that into the mold and let it start to firm up. While the ocean floor is getting firm, I'm going to mix in my colors of my ocean, which are my turquoise, blue, and green. And I'm mixing in my micas by hand, but later I'm going to give them just a little stir with my stick blender. So my light goes out, but the party will go on. So I'm mixing some titanium dioxide into a portion of my batter and I'm going to stir that in. Uh, in the meantime I'm also going to mix in my colors with the stick blender. So that's my blue, my green, and my turquoise. By now the ocean floor has started to set up and so I'm going to create some texture in there because no ocean floor is completely flat. And again, this is called Stormy Sea, so I want the water to look like it's been tossed a little bit by the wind. So now I'll start adding in the colors of my ocean. I'm going to start with turquoise, go to green, blue, and finally some white. So once all my colors are in, I'm going to go ahead and stir those up a little bit uh, to give them a stormy sea kind of look. So now I'm going to actually put in some melting core and this has uh, actually been colored with the same 24 karat gold as the bottom of the ocean. Now I'm creating some texture in the ocean and then I'm going to pour the rest of the melt and pour in. And melt and pour sticks perfectly with cold processed soap, so no need to worry about it separating. I love this color. So now I'm taking what's left of the ocean colors and I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with the white and then pour what's left of that on top of the layers I've already created.
So the last thing I'm going to do is create some waves with the blues and greens and add what's left of the colors. I'm just going to scrape that on top and give it one last swirl and then we're going to top it off with some gold mica. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.